weed control in cassava can be done manually, mechanically, culturally or chemically by using herbicides. Chemical weed control involves the use of herbicides which may be pre-emergence or post-emergence. Pre-emergence herbicides are herbicides that are applied before the weeds emerge, while post-emergence herbicides are those that are applied on the field after the weeds emerge. On this farm, what we have used is uh, it's an integrated uh, approach where we are using the crop um, canopy because of the population and density, and then the chemistry, which is the herbicide. What we are doing now is um, having farmers test on their own uh, the technology we have developed. For example, we have uh, looked at agronomy and we have picked certain variety. We have picked certain cropping system, for example, tillage, certain cassava population. We also now have uh, certain chemistries. Um, by chemistries, I mean herbicides that we integrate with these options from the agronomy trial. We're also looking at uh, weeding with machines. So what you have here is uh, one of the uh, plots we have in the country. Currently we have 134 plots in four states. So this is one of them where we are testing a herbicide called uh, FIAS, which is a pre-emergence for weed control in cassava. We're also testing a post-emergence uh, herbicide, but here we have only put the pre margin because the pre margin is so good that it has lasted for 10 weeks and we didn't need to put the post emergence The technologies the project is pushing is to ensure that weeds are reduced in cassava fields. And these technologies are working. Uh, we have uh, seen, uh, this project has been on for four years now. This is the fourth year. The first two years, we were in the in the in the um, on station um, last year 2016 we were on farm but researcher managed and then um, this year we are on farm also but farmer managed demonstrations on farmers views farmers taking the lead in ensuring that uh, this project is uh, successful um, there's a, not, a lot of knowledge transfer to farmers uh, in the area of a good land preparation, in the area of um, plant spacing, plant population, um, uh, uh, fertilizer application, as well as um, safe um, use of herbicides and um, proper uh, use of um, herbicides on, on these farms. Professor Kelleme further reveals that acceptability of this project by farmers will address the weed control problems. The impact here is that you are going to get enhanced yield. For example, we have seen that with what we are doing now, we more than double the crop cassava root yield. The national yield average in Nigeria is between 8 and 10 tons per hectare. But from our research work, we have seen yield increases from 19 tons to 35 tons. Farmers should note that the efficacy of any pre-emergence depends on good land preparation. For example, if perennial weeds, especially rhizomatous, tuberous or tufted weeds are not killed during land preparation, a good pre-emergence herbicide may fail. For maximum efficacy, pre-emergence herbicides should be applied on the day after planting or at most two days after planting. A pre-emergent herbicide is a herbicide you apply to your farm on the soil immediately after planting when the weeds are not there yet. So what you do is to prevent the weeds from coming out but allowing your crops to come out and get a head start before the weeds emerge. A post-emergence is what you put on the weeds themselves. They are specific to certain crops. Uh, you may have, for example, this cassava field and then a mess field. There are certain post-emergence 
that are required in those systems. You don't just use any type of post emergence. So they will kill the weeds and they will leave your crop alone. But you have to put it on the crop, not on the soil. There are post emergence that you use to kill every type of weed. For example, it kills the crop and it kills the weed. So you have to be very careful which one of them you are using. So what we have done is to look at various post emergent herbicides and to see which one is appropriate for cassava if you are planting cassava alone and which one is appropriate if you are mixing your cassava and your maize together. The demonstrations are farmer-led. Farmers will keep records of the farm activities and share these records with the nominated authorized representative from the weed control team from the IITA. How do we work with the extension service providers, both in public and also in private sector? And um, we have done that quite well with the Oyo State ADP for Oyo State. For Benue, we are working with the Benada, that is the Benue State ADP. For Abia, we are working with the Abia ADP and with Ogun, we are working with the Ogun State ADP. We also recognize the role of the private extension service providers. And here we are working with the Dominican Center, for instance. We are working with the Justice Development and Peace Movement in Oyo and also in Abekuta. And um, in Abia, we are working with coping. They are also into dissemination. Cassava is planted at various times of the year, depending on the agroecology. April to May for early season, and August to October for late season in the rainforest. May to June for early season, and August to early October for late season in the savannah. It's expected that this new technology in weed control will help farmers improve their productivity, earnings, standard of living, and ultimately their livelihood. Experts believe that a combination of good agronomy with improved seeds and proper weed control will result in high yields. Agriculture in Africa is poised to remain one of the most important economic sectors, accounting for around 25% of the continent's GDP. Over 60% of Africans rely on agriculture for some form of income. With this new technology, experts believe that acceptability of this innovation will not only reduce resources spent on weed control on their farmlands, but improve their standard of living and ultimately increase their yields. That's it on Earthfire. Join us again next week for another edition. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago.